So it has been a while, but um, if you guys remember my first video on Helite where we were basically deploying it on me. <laughs> We're back again with Heli's new products. They have the exact same GP air vest, which is now no longer mechanical. You can still buy it in a mechanical, but they now have an electronical version with no tether, all electronic. Interested to look at this. Yeah. And next we have their new product, which is a book bag. Indeed, this is their book bag that has an airbag system set up with it. And on top of that, you can actually detach the book bag part of it and actually just leave and ride with the airbag vest, which is actually kind of neat. Let's jump into this, and uh, first I want to talk about this bag. Damn, boy, them joints is ashy. I didn't wash my hands. I'm so glad I put on lotion, because y'all was about to fry me for how ashy my hands were. Right off the bat, I mean, this is about this. This is about the same quality as the vest, and now the the vest is pretty much the same as my mechanical. But this is made out of like a more of a mesh, not as leather. Right here, there's no leather on this bag. Let's just dive into what is basically going on here. It has a little bit of weight to it, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on. I have my CO2 canister here on this side. I'm not restrictive at all. So what does this protect when it blows up? It's protecting your neck, your back, your thorax, and your abdomen. I want to say another part, part of your groin as well. No. Yes. Yes. No. Oh, yes. Of your pelvis. Yeah. There's a um, part of your pelvis. What is it called? I literally, I remember this. I remember this. I don't remember it. Very fast inflation. By the time it, it goes off, it really will spook you. The easy thing about this, right? And the nice part about this is because some people have some vests, right? Where if they go off and they deploy, what you have to do is you have to send them back to the company. All you got to do is Pop this bad boy open, right? Disconnect this little fuse thing, you know, this little guy. You take your CO2 canister out, you throw another bad boy in, which if you order them, you'll have some on standby. Bada bing, bada boom, connect that again. I mean, we're talking two minutes, maybe. Kind of all over all these little gray spots you see, right, will all reflect, which is nice. That's a nice key, especially if you're riding at night. So it also does come with a helmet holder, a rain cover, uh, water bag pouch. And like I said earlier, right, from here, right, you can see this this zipper that goes all the way around, right? And that's what will disconnect the book bag section from the actual airbag vest. This is our main pouch. Let's see how much storage we have in here because I carry a lot of shit. Enough room for the laptop, my camera, boom. This stretches out pretty solid. Look at that, look at that. Then we have our smaller pouch, right? Organizational, it's a book bag. The back has like this you know this, you can hear it, right? Some type of padding. I don't know if it's padding or if it's a part of the, just the airbag system. And you know, you can wear leather and that protects you from the slide, but the impact, you know, that's the big thing. And this is why I, I advise for these things, you know? I love this because this is, you know, kind of a more casual way to commute. This is versatile. This has, this is a multifunctional thing, right? This is protecting you all at the same time, allowing you storage, right? Which is easier than perhaps for some people, wearing a vest and then putting a book bag on top of that because a lot of people do commute, they do have book bags, they have, you know, whatever they have in them, right? And I'm an avid user for that, right? Because I always wear a book bag or a fanny pack because I always need storage with me, whether I have my camera, my books, right? This cannot do that, but this makes sense, especially if I'm going for a casual ride or my main focus is not speed, but I want to be protected, then boom, right? But if I'm going out and I'm going out for a mountain run, this is the, this is the guy. I'm going to the track, this is the guy that I'm bringing. This is the exact same vest as my last mechanical vest, which I did a video before. This is basically the same thing, just not mechanical. There's no tether coming out of here. I had the R1 set up right here. Now you can see the tether is right here. This is what I would pull out, funnel over here into the middle and then connect to my mechanical. But what happened is, is I've also deployed myself, I think two times. <laughs> and I've deployed it because I, I, I'm not used to wearing it on the street. So when I, I you know, I get on the bike, it's scary because you're getting off the bike and this loud, ex like this happens and your head just goes up and you just, you know, get stiff out of nowhere. That's why I was kind of more reluctant to being a little bit more interested in the electronical version, right? Open-minded about how this is going to perform, especially with how quick and irrational of movements that I make working off of like a accelerometer, gyroscope and a GPS system. Right, so I'm interested to see how this is gonna perform, especially with me doing wheelies, my rapid movements. Interested to see if it, it 
calibrates to my riding style and it's looking for the abrupt movements, but I'm a very abrupt person. So like, we will find out, you know? All right, we might as well just talk about it real quick. It's not too much different from my last one, right? You have your open air spot for your hump, right? This is very aerodynamic, kind of fits like a sleeve over your jacket or your suit. You have your sliders back here that you can replace if you fall and you crash. Boom. She's flashing green, which means she's in street mode. And also switch it over into race mode. Triple tap that, bam, bam, bam. Yep, turn that bad boy off, right? Boom, this comes off. This is exactly like how my last one was, right? Boom, this is with plug-in charge for the electronical version. And then we have our CO2 canister. Very much the exact same vest, just a different system, just electronical rather than mechanical. Put the jacket on, we'll throw on the bag. Very easy to get on. Book bags are very tough to get on if you have a jacket on or a full suit. If you ride with a book bag, you'll know that. You have to usually undo the strap, pull it down. These are pretty much strapped in, right? So, but I don't even feel like I have anything on. Do you know what I mean? Like with a jacket on, you know, usually when I put my book bag on, I'm like, oh, like I have a book bag on. You know what I mean? Like I can feel the difference. Right now, I don't feel any loss of motion which I get excited about because I like to move. It's here, right? Boom, right? So now, completely fitted, right? All I need to do is hit this button, this magic button, and I blow up. So let's just... Oh, shit! <laughs> So as you can see, we blew up very much over here, and neck support, and all the way down, all of our back, is lit up. You can see my neck support, right? My head instantly goes up, which is a big thing, is if you crash, you want to make sure that your neck is secured. I don't know how this one blows up, I do believe. There's a drop back over here, but like, and then the front, and like the only way that we're- Oh my gosh! Whoa. As you can see, my whole back is just, whew. yeah, you know what you need to do. This is so cool. You guys know me. I just like to show you guys some products that I find interesting, show them off to you. All that blew up. As you can see, we have more blue that came out. That's the bottom pouch that I was talking about that came out from down here. I had to cover up uh, basically the top part of my pelvis. You reach back there, right at the top of your crack, right? That's that right at the top of your pelvis, right? That would suck to break. Think about that being broken and just think about going about your day-to-day -day life. Right, I'm gonna show you how fast, right? And we're gonna change both of these in like lightning speed right here, right? Just Unscrew this. All right, then we're going to take this plug, do a little botch. She's a done deal. We're gonna take the new one, right? We're gonna do this. We're gonna feed this through. Bada bing, bada boom, find the plug, notch. That goes like that, easy as can be. Take this and do this. Now picture this, picture this. I'm done. It's very, very simple, right? And a lot of these other companies, don't quote me, but to my knowledge, for these other companies, you have to send your gear back, right? So if I were to deploy it by accident, whatever it is, now I gotta, I gotta ship it, bro. I ain't trying to do all that. I'm sorry. I'm not. Now granted, if it's a bad one, yeah, maybe I want them to look it over. But in this case, you know, maybe it was a little low slap, low side. You're all right. You know, there's not damage on the vest. It did what it needed to do, protected all the important parts of your body, bada bing, bada boom, you know? And we're just cooking. That takes, I'd say roughly less than 60 seconds. That's the beautiful part about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I know it's been a while since I've been in the garage doing a video. I, one last part I will say is all I have to do is go around and just patch this back up and just connect all these, just all the way back up, which I'll take care of. But uh, until then, if you're not hyped, get hyped, stay hyped, all right boys?